Get ready to smell like a big fat loser, okay? With Bette Midler's latest collaboration. The iconic actress and singer lends her voice to a satire ad for Donald Trump's theme perfume, courtesy of the Midas Touch. The ad takes, takes aim at Trump's ongoing legal woes, so throughout her illustrious career spanning decades, Bette Midler has garnered a strong following among our community, especially for performing in gay bathhouses during the early 70s. Watch this. You can smell just like a big fat loser. You can reek like a repulsive fool With a hint of sexual abuser And toxic notes of universal ridicule If you like a fragrance that's psychotic Infused with rage and defamation too A litany of lies so pathologic Older Trump is certainly the stench for you May cause diarrhea, shingles, constipation, stupidity, incessant whining, adultery, halitosis, fat head, fat ass, teeny weeny peeny, deceit, disgust, disgrace, treason, and comb overs. Oh, did Trump is certainly the stench for you. Because every dictator starts with a dick. The divine Miss M. Rose Trump. What are we all talking about? I can't say that by eso, right? No, I mean, sure. come on. Like, you know, as much horrible and hateful things Donald Trump does and is and represents, like, he is comedy. Like, he is just a walking it's, satire. It's easy to make fun of him. I just, I don't know how I feel about the song, though. Like, it's, uh, it feels like a geriatric rap battle, like, <laughs> like between uh, Kendrick Lamar and Drake. Like, things are going in. <laughs> And then you have Bette Midler doing this song. It's so cheesy and corny. It's like a very 70s way of backslapping Trump. I don't know how I feel about it. I think it's funny. Yeah. But like I don't know <laughs> if it lands well. No. If beep, beep, doop, boop, beep, boop, <laughs> doop, beep. No, you like, would go in. It needs something more. Yeah, go more hard. More baba boom, not yeah. like, you know, more bathhouse. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right? Yeah, more and, bathhouse. Wait, instead of like flowers than and lilies. tea. Like I feel like she was just si sipping tea, like making fun of someone. No, she could have she gone on in with this and 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 you know kudos to her and i think she was also kind of making up for some of the bad publicity she's been getting especially that they compared her to like jk rowling and stuff what yeah yeah i like, didn't she, see that but yeah, i always she, think of ben midler as like a <laughs> like a trailblazer with our community she, as an ally no yeah for sure but for the gays but for trans it wasn't as apparent oh okay she didn't come she all right so got it got she's it, been got getting it. some bad publicity and i think this was kind of her way to kind of getting back in it even yeah. though she's always iconic but i'm not feeling it I don't i'm not mean, feeling it Did it you, is yeah. funny especially like at the end where she was like it causes diarrhea fat head fat ass we and all weenie, that. Teeny, weenie, and, 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 and the comb over, it does. Yeah. Did you ever see Beaches? Oh, no. I I mean, Oof. it's been a long time. I have. I mean, it's old as shit. It's yeah. A, you know, it's, it's a very From the 70s, old, isn't it's it? A, 70s, 80s, 90s, something like that. But like, Ben Midler's in it, and she's with Barbara Hershey, her best friend. She dies, by the way. <laughs> you just gave it away. <laughs> oh, please. The movie's like 30 years old, Jonathan. It's called Beaches. It'll make you cry, okay? But Ben Midler is amazing in it. That's all yeah, I she's say. amazing. See it. Kudos to her.